Futuro y Tosimash! Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are getting back to some more If Pokedex Entries Were Literal, compilation number three. So, if you guys missed the last time I uh, checked one of these out, go check out one and two. They'll be on my channel. Um, but let's just get into this because I haven't watched one of these in a minute. Rapidash. Very competitive. This Pokemon will chase anything that moves fast in the hopes of racing it. Huh? Please don't tell me it's about to go chase a uh, freaking ambulance or fire truck. You think you're better than me? <laughs> <laughs> what the? F what is this Back to the Future kind of shit? Wait, 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 wait. You think you're better than me? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what the? F oh God. That's how you know it was a very bad accident when a tire comes off. Gyarados. It is an extremely vicious and violent Pokemon. When humans begin to fight, it will yep. appear and burn everything to the ground with intensely hot flame. Why flames though? Why didn't why wouldn't it just be like why wouldn't it just be like it brings a rainstorm and it drowns everything in its way or some shit like that? I mean, because it's a water type. Bro, are you stepping to me, bro? <laughs> Oh. oh, big mistake, bro. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I'm sorry, but if you fight like this at a bar, you shouldn't be going to a bar at all. Oh. Uh. Especially drinking. Yeah. That was me. That was Gyarados. Yep. Yeah. Mewtwo. Yeah. Yeah. They, they had it coming. Because its battle abilities were raised to the ultimate level, it thinks only of defeating its foes. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I will defeat all my foes. Well, hold up. What happens when you use a Master Ball, though? I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Later. For now, I'm just gonna stand here motionless on an island in this cave. Man, okay. I really hope the first child who runs into me doesn't completely own me instantly. <laughs> that would suck. Oh, you just wait. Just wait. Pikachu. This intelligent Pokemon roasts hard berries with electricity to make them tender enough. Oh, I'm sorry, what? To eat. Hey, it's PB! If you guys haven't checked out uh, last week's videos, uh, yeah, PB was in it. <laughs> bro, roast another hard berry for the dude. He's hurting. Do not push me about the berries, bro. <laughs> Humans fighting or Pikachu's? Pikachu's, Gyarados. Just Pikachu's. Ah. Oh, Pikachu. God. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> okay, but for one, um... Was PB crying because of the Bidoof in the last, in the last video? Maybe, maybe that's why he's crying. He needs something to cuddle? Camerupt. Camerupt has a volcano inside its body. Magma of 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit courses yep. through its body. Occasionally, the humps on this Pokemon's back erupt, spewing the superheated magma. Yeah, which it's kind of weird because, like, literally, like, I, I feel like the world would be destroyed by then, 100%. There would be no more cities. It'd just be freaking hard. Like, it would just be mountains. Like, hard like a freaking magma that turned into hard uh, stone and it'd just be a mountain regions now. That's all it would be. Oh god, am I erupting? Oh jeez. Oh my god, is that guy erupting magma twice as hot <laughs> as the surface of the sun, which is 9,941 degrees Fahrenheit? Wait, really? I thought, I thought the sun would be hotter. But really? Like... A camera up is hot. Uh, Pokemon doesn't make any sense anymore. Reggie Gigas. Oh god. There is an enduring legend that states this Pokemon towed continents with ropes. Yes, but here's the thing though. It moves slow as fuck. That's all I gotta say. If you don't understand the joke, then maybe you should start playing some VGC with Reggie Gigas. Why are you towing the continents with ropes, Reggie Gigas? Why is Mew there? 
My actions are beyond This motherfucker's a robot. He's a fucking robot. Wow. Okay. On your mortal understanding. Also, just think they would look better a little bit to the left. Ever hear of Feng Shui? Yeah, yes I have. If interrupted while it is miming, it will slap around the offender with its broad hands. Bother, the mime. Behold yeah, yeah, of game. course he's a robot too. I am in the middle of a performance, you insolent whelp! Oh sh Uh he I did not know Mr. Mom was French. Oh god. You have struck my child, mime. Run. Prepare to be Run. made. Run. Lick a tongue. Its tongue, twice its body's length, moves around freely to catch prey. Its licks cause a tingling sensation. Okay, okay, so uh, long tongue causes tingling something something sex. We put you next to a cloister huh? and the jokes write themselves. Alright, next! Badoo. You know, Butter, I've been waiting for you to visit my office. Close the portal. Take a seat. Um, okay. Shadot. It mimics the cries of other Pokemon to trick them into thinking it's one of them. This way, they won't attack it. That's pretty smart. Rayquaza. Why are there two? There's only supposed to be one Rayquaza. This is not canon. This is fake. Uh, Rayquaza. Rayquaza! <laughs> hey bro, this other Rayquaza is totally normal. Regular as hell. Yet, everything seems totally usual over here. Yeah, everything seems pretty uh, usual, except for there's another Rayquaza. That's the thing that I have a problem with right now. Not the chat out, and not them thinking that's a Rayquaza. It's that there's a second Rayquaza. That's the problem I have. to me. Lunatone. It becomes very active on the night of a full moon. This Pokemon was first discovered 40 years ago at the site of a meteor strike. Wait, that's it? Only 40 years ago? My god! This meteor has brought an alien Pokemon. Wait, so that does that mean that like Pokemon like Lunatone and Solrock aren't going to be in Legends Arceus? I just realized that because there's actually going to be a lot of Pokemon that won't be in those games, like uh, let's see, Voltorb, Magnemite, let's see, uh, uh, Garbodor. I think that's it for right now. That's all I can think of. But yeah, like that's kind of like crazy, like how some of these Pokemon won't exist in the games, especially Savali, because uh, it's a it's a Chimera that was made as like a Philosopher's Stone uh, style of Arceus. No evolution. No way it'll be competitive with these stats. Worthless. Dump it in a PC box. Yeah. Yeah. Crow. It makes its Murkrow cronies bring it food. It idles its time away, grooming itself in its nest. I said peach berries, you mo These are chesto berries. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with chesto berries? I can't believe they're surrounded by idiots. Okay, if you guys don't know, uh, Honchkrow is based around a mafia boss. Okay, so yeah, we need to unionize, like, now. <laughs> Seismitoad. This Pokemon is popular among the elderly. Who say the vibrations of its lumps are great for massages? Oh, oh God! My sciatica could use a good rub with those vibrating lumps of yours. Oh no! No, 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 no! I, I feel bad for Seismitoad. <sighs> just, just stay hidden. Is this Kevin's office? Yeah, I need to see him immediately. <laughs> what do you mean he's taking the entire day to work with peanut butter? I need help now. Oh, it's the uh, it's that, that one guy. I'm gonna sit on it for hours. No, God, God, no. Seismitoad, just run, run for your life. Kevin, isn't that the guy that was helping out peanut butter? Wearing a tie and a short sleeve button up, Kevin's assist villains and reveal logical inconsistencies. 
Also, they retrieve children kidnapped by ghost balloons. Oh, okay, okay. Listen, I ascended to a higher plane of existence, helped the devil attack and dethrone God, second. and achieved knowledge beyond all mortal understanding. Nirvana's not just a baby's dick in a pool, peanut butter. Okay, okay. The okay. point is, I've helped every villain in existence, and I thought I'd change it up a bit and serve the side of good. So what's oh, yeah, your deal? Okay, if you guys don't know, um, he's uh, from a bit that Darkly does called, like, villain's assistant. So, like, he's been, like, Thanos' assistant, uh, the evil Voldemort from Harry Potter. And like other other villains, so that's like the whole thing. Like he's an assistant, so now he's assisting Pokemon. I gave up on my godhood to travel the cosmos. I was tired of Earth. These people tired of being caught in the tangle of their lives. Yeah. But the further I went, the more I realized I was running away from what I truly wanted: a wife, a family that did not include. A why why did you bring this into the universe why darkly i hate this thing i hate it so fucking much why are they why are they showing the why why is uh clefable or not Clef, uh Clefable? why is clefable with the with the kong family a oh, long sexy the Pokemon Clefairy. universe. thank you but thank you thank you saw that you saw that include a weirdly sexy yep. Clefairy. Yep. But now Bianca is married to Bad Bidoof. Well, just call him Badoof for one. Yeah. You know the Dorkly <laughs> channel? Yeah. The YouTube channel that gives us life? Uh, yeah. what? Uh, maybe yes, I a do. little I meta for you. I do videos. You are part of a series called Pokemon Rusty. Yep, Extra and, I ju and I'm so glad I actually reacted to that before I did this. So glad I did that. Extremely popular. Big crossover appeal. They're only bringing you back to hearken to that popular series and squeeze what little juice is left in YouTube as a platform for animation. So, yeah. what are you saying? What I'm saying that. should be fairly obvious. The fate of the Dorkly channel depends on the success of your mission. Go win back Bianca, defeat Badoof. It's the only way. Yeah, do it, peanut butter. Do it for old Shuckle. That's me, good old Shuckle. Kinda ditto too, a little bit. Mostly Shuckle, though. Yeah! Oh, you never finished right. the series. Come huh? on, peanut butter, we need. Huh? What the fuck is wrong with Sonic? He does not look good. Ninja. Him, Greg, Greg has almost definitely impregnated my whole family by now. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? What the fuck did I just hear? Impreg, Greg, impregnated his whole family. I I I do, I do not want to watch that series. I don't know. I am glad that they stopped. Oh, who any of these people are, but they have given me the inspiration I need. Great! Now, if you'll excuse me, I saw a drift loon out the window. Oh! Drop the kid, you goddamn ghost balloon! But here's the thing. Would those work? Would both work on a ghost type? I don't think so. So, Bad Doof has a castle. Peanut butter, Ooh. you returned for me. Yes. I swear to God, if they start slapping, I'm gonna go on the ground cr laughing my ass off. And now let our final battle begin, Bad Bidoof. It's a good thing this is a compilation, because that would have been a, a fucking hateful uh, cliffhanger. Phantom. According to old tales, these Pokémon are stumps possessed by the spirits of children who died while lost in the forest. So, you're a kid who died in the forest and possessed a tree stump? Why are we looking at the fight? Yup! Huh. Seems like there might have been better things to possess. Not a lot of options for a dead kid in the forest, okay, lady? I don't yeah. know, it just opens up a lot of questions. Why are there so many phantoms out there? Oh. Those are all children who died in the woods? Why are there so many dead kids? Oh, I don't know. I guess we might live in a world where moms send their 11 year olds out into the wilderness only accompanied by currently on fire dinosaurs or something. Ah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a miracle there are any non-dead kids, right? I mean, between yeah. that and the ghost balloons that kidnap kids. Oh. I'm sorry, Bianca. 
I'm not strong enough. No! We just need to get the upper hand. We need a way of distracting Bad Bidoof. Uh, Pokey Doll. Or that, uh, cloth farm. That, that'll probably distract it. I've got it. Because I'll be like, because if somebody put that in front of me, I'll be like, what the fuck is this? Why is it here? And why does it exist? Where are you hiding, Peanut Butter? You can't run from me forever. Peanut Butter, Squawk! That's me, Peanut Butter! There you are, Peanut Butter! God damn it. Now I've got you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There you are, Peanut Butter. What the now fuck? Now I've got you. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a good thing that this ain't over yet. Audino. Its auditory sense is astounding. It has a radar-like ability to understand its surrounding through slight sounds. Ah, the gentle swaying of wind against the grass. The soft rustle of leaves. Okay. Okay. Whismer. Usually, its cries are like quiet... I didn't know there was an Audino that liked to talk like Morgan Freeman, but okay. Murmurs. If frightened, it shrieks at the same volume as a jet plane. Hey there. Oh! Oh god! Don't scare people like that. It's rude. He just said hi. That was not rude. Gee, oh my god, damn. I'm so glad that Pokemon don't exist. Hoot hoot. It marks time precisely. Some countries consider it to be a wise friend, versed in the world's ways. Admit defeat. Oh, okay. Well, I, we're I, am super Doof. Sane. I will rule Doof kind by defeating you and you. Uh, hold it, I say. Uh, hold on one second here. What, the what are you two himbo Badoofs fussing about? He married my ex when I was on a cosmic journey with an inept sandwich delivery boy and a sexy Clefairy. Yes, that sums it up nicely. Well, look, I might be simple. He married your ex. Technically, that's a free-for-all right there. That's all I'm going to say. Who, who, but I know a few things like this convoluted tale is just a little too much for regular down-home Pokemans like me. Y'all should focus on the real I love this. I love this voice actor. capitalism. What? Y'all aren't enemies. You're class allies. <laughs> it's society's elites who pitch against one I mean, another, making you believe it's a zero-sum game, and the only way to get ahead is to tear down each other, rather than the institutions that exploit you. You are a wise friend, Hoot Hoot. Bad Bidoof, let us put aside our differences and fight our common enemy, the ruling class of humanity, through direct action and praxis. Now I'm afraid I must be skedaddling. I huh? got a friend who needs to dispose of an Audino corpse right quick. Wow. Oh god. That guy is such a good friend. Okay. Um, if you guys like this video, hit that like button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. That was a weird one and we got one more to go because that's that's the last one that they have for right now. And um what did I say? I said hit that like button, also hit the subscribe button, really does help with the channel. Um, but yeah, I think I'll see you guys next time. Peace!